everybody, I'm back with another Foundation Friday and today I'm going to the high end land and we're reviewing the Tarte Foundation. This is Tarte's Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. Now if you guys are new to my channel, I do love me some full coverage. I also like a matte finish and I also like, you know, things that are good for oily skin. That's totally me. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I review new foundations every Friday. So let me take this out of the box. I got this from Sephora. This is, let's see, 1.7 fluid ounces. Pretty much every foundation I've reviewed has been one fluid ounce, so you get a little bit more in this little squeeze container. It has a wooden top, which makes it very cute, rustic, if you will, made for like the whole Amazonian vibe, and you just squeeze it out. So I do like that. 12 hour makeup, oil free, SPF 15 sunscreen, that's good. And I am the color Tan Honey. So without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied this foundation. Let's get started. So this is pretty cute packaging. Really hope I got the right color. Brand spanking new. This is a first impression. And I will be using a damp beauty blender. Gonna apply some. Oh, it looks like it's pretty thick. That's a good sign for me. Looks like my color. Let's do this. Ooh, very good color match. And some pretty good coverage. Let me show you how it covers these little blemishes over here. And now you see them. Now you don't. Good old Photoshop in real life, everybody. Man, I don't know if I've just like am really pale lately or if I've just been using the wrong foundation color like all my life. So I'm gonna go back in a little bit more and try to get more coverage. Okay, so first impression, I feel like it is a very thick but moussey consistency to where it does kind of leave you kind of streaky. It should have the potential to give you full coverage, but I still am able to see like my dark spots, so I'm gonna have to go in with concealer because it did not really conceal them as much as I would like it to. I don't know, I'm kinda like whatever on it right now, but let me go ahead and finish my full face. And I'm back. So now that I look fabulous once again, I can tell you that I do think it is very matte. I like that it's pretty full coverage without being too heavy or cakey. It has that weightless feel that it claims. I think it was a very good color match and there's a total of 23 colors, at least that I've seen on Sephora, available right now. This did cost me $39, so it's definitely more of a high-end foundation, but if it works well, it might be worth the money. And it also claims to last a total of 12 hours. So I will be putting that to the test. It's already 2.30 p.m., so I don't know if I could do a full 12, but I'm going to keep it on for as long as possible, and then we'll come back to see how well it holds up. And I'm back. It is now, where's my phone? 12.30, the little past midnight, meaning I've had on this foundation for a total of 10 hour so I did not quite make it to 12 but I think it's pretty long of a day to get some type of results but I do have a huge confession that I just realized I didn't put on primer I know some of you guys realize that and this is when my microphone decided to die Ugh! come on Bianca get it together but anyways what I was saying was that I did forget to put a primer on so this is like a very true test of how the foundation is all on its own sorry about that but at this point I like to grab my oil absorbing sheets these are by clean and clear but you could use any brand you want they all do the same thing so what you do is put them on your face to see how much oil you produce and the fact that it's sticking on my face is not a good sign that was a lot of oil just for the first dab <laughs> got that one but I do continue all over my face and just more and more oil is coming up to the point where I decided to get a second blotting sheet. So this is how much oil and makeup came off my skin after 10 hours of wear. 
this is not a good sign. Usually only the oil comes off, but the fact that the makeup came off shows that this is not transfer proof. And now that I look at my skin, it's kind of leaving like little blotchy patches, taking away from my full coverage. And I would not want to wear this for any more hours. <sighs> so those are my concluding thoughts. I'm not too happy with how my makeup looks right now. After 10 hours, I would not wear it all the way to the 12 hours. For $40, I don't see why I would choose this one when I have drugstore foundations that cost like $5 that definitely keep me more matte. And I will be a little bit more lenient because I know I forgot to put a primer, but this is gonna have to do like a complete 360 to change my mind with a primer. So stay tuned for that on Instagram or Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. Another weird thing is on the box, it says to reapply at least every two hours. Why would I be reapplying foundation every two hours? Like you're supposed to last 12. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know anybody that reapplies their foundation every two hours. <sighs> so overall, I am not very impressed with this foundation. I think my skin looks kind of blotchy right now. I am more matte now that I've blotted, but I have taken off a lot of oil and a lot of foundation on my blotting sheets and that's not how it's supposed to be. I'll give it a little, little lenience because I forgot to use a primer. So make sure you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram to see if a primer helps this foundation at all. And I know a lot of you guys also love this foundation. So if you love it, please leave me a comment. Let me know why you love it and what primers you use when you use it. And if you don't like it, also leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. Before you go, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more honest makeup reviews. I review foundations every Friday and curly hair products on Sunday. So come back next week so you don't miss any more videos. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.